under my bike. Good morning, guys. How are you? JD here. Look, we're heading to get uh, breakfast right now. I think they have breakfast. I don't know. And uh, just locked myself out of my room, my key. So hopefully I can get a new key card. Get back in. But today, vlog 85. Ready to rock and roll. Day 17. We're on the road. We're going to get a bike fixed. They're going to uh, work on a couple things for me. And then uh, I got you. And, uh, and then we're going to get going go on the road. So if you guys get a chance to check out the page, please go over and subscribe to the page. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. And always, always, always check out the thepositivevibesword.com. Make a donation. $1, $5. If not, share it. Share, 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 share as much as you can. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Have a great Wednesday. Hump day. Bye. That breakfast is actually really good. And um, yeah, eggs were just right. There was sausage, there was waffles. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. I like it, it was good. My legs, I could ask for some ice. I should've taken an ice bath last night, but I didn't take an ice bath last night. Go check out my, welcome to my crib. Yeah, but look at this place. Let me turn my light on for you. Nice little spot here. Bam, it's a little dark in here. But you got your own kitchen set up. Got everything you need to live here, basically. Oh, sweet bathroom. Oh yeah. Yo, the shock just broke under my bike. That's not good. Okay. So we got to Push this up, let's see what happens. I might have lost. So we gotta put the shock back in. Alright, so we get the shock back on. I had to take it out here. Well, I had to put the uh, screw this back in. It came loose, so there's a lot of sway. Doug has said in the uh, back arm, and it's gotta we gotta get that under control. Something going on here, so maybe we can tighten this up. So yesterday that must have been actually making its way off that's what I heard uh, when I stopped there's a lot of sway in that back arm so I'm gonna try to get there I got a mile I gotta ride to this bike shop and I'm hoping that they can help me out and uh, fix that that's where we're going the bicycle connection hopefully they can help us out this is awesome this is great check this out they got two floors up here bikes. there's eight more bikes up there I feel like you're all good. Oh my God, look at him. Yes, this is heaven, literally upstairs. Chance guys, Bicycle Connection, uh, Cockeysville, Maryland, to help you out. They're literally fitting me in right now to uh, help me out. So thank you guys for that, I appreciate it. All right, so we got the Bicycle Connection has the bike. I have my satchel, like I'm going on a picnic right now. <laughs> walking at Starbucks which is apparently pretty close I really hope it is that close it looks like it is uh, and I'm gonna sit there until they call me um, well, because I I gotta wait for the bike to be fixed luckily that little spiff with the the uh, shock is resolved for now so we're getting a little uh, we're getting a coffee and we're waiting for the bike we have my stuff set up here I had to bring my entire bag with me because well, yeah, you didn't want to leave that there. And I'm gonna literally when I get to the hotel tonight. We're gonna drop more weight from the bike because when I picked it up, it was like super light after I took everything off of it. So, which makes total sense. But we're gonna do that when we get back to the uh, when we get to the hotel tonight. This is the first time I've ever talked to you since I've been on the road for two weeks. And you really look at my dad. Look at him. Look at him vlogging. Nah. All right, so we have a change of plan. So we are gonna go, or walking about 1.4 miles to the rental place for a car because we're gonna drive three and a half hours up to uh, RBR. Rob is doing something that's out of this world, like ridiculously amazing. Uh, I don't even know, like I talked to him earlier, Rob's the owner of RBR and they, uh, they are 
uh, giving me a frame to use for the performance trike and they're switching everything over uh, from the trike that I have I'm having so many problems with it and they're literally uh, letting me use this frame and I'm just like I'm I don't know what to say uh, but I gotta get my bike over to them so I gotta rent um, I gotta go rent a car so that I can drive up to um, to see them today so they're about three and a half hours away I'm in Maryland gotta go up there to Penn State again and uh, this is like I'm just blown away so what they're gonna do is they're gonna take all my bike parts and they're gonna go ahead on the bike that I've been using and they're gonna transfer them over onto a brand new frame and they can do all the work for me super super cool you don't hear stuff like this happening every day so uh, huge shout out to RBR and uh, more more promo of those guys to come because this is just uh, is super cool of them to do so I'm gonna walk over thank you so right now we're walking like I was just saying to uh, rent the car next car is called but uh, they have a rental place right here enterprise needed a bunch of paperwork and whatever so I got to go up here to uh, to rent that out who doesn't like running in bicycle shoes on concrete be good yeah so we're gonna get a minivan to rent here so this would be good so I can actually get a minivan the bike will fit Oh yeah, this is big enough. This should be big enough and I can put the boom right in the front. So he's putting, he's helping me out. He's putting the seats down right now because it's like a stow and go basically. So all the seats go down. So the bike will roll right in here perfectly. It'll fit nice and uh, it should be golden. So, all right. So my man here was just telling me about the um, uh, Maryland and like some super cool um, just topics about it and, and interest that I didn't even know. And I wanted you, will you tell everybody, tell me, tell them. Maryland's the wealthiest state per capita income. The main per household income is around like seventy-nine thousand to one hundred and sixty thousand per household. That yeah. and like we we're just talking, like like Baltimore is one of the highest crime rates. It has one of the highest crime rates. And so you wouldn't ever think like people. I know you guys and some a lot of people out there think like, oh man, like it doesn't like it's no, it's actually a really nice place. So yeah, yeah if you get a the chance, crime rate is really centralized. Like you can we have like a crime map. shows you like the area where the crime's at. Yeah, and it's literally centralized. You can't you everywhere else is. It's like a, it's outside a cool of that, it's all everything good. else outside of that is really good. So you know, Merlin, we have it's a high like we live in a city. Like I live in a city, so property taxes are pretty high. So most of the people in the homes, you know, somebody that's let's say somebody bought a house that was two hundred eighty thousand yeah. somewhere else, and their property taxes probably one point two percent. Probably that's like what three grand a year in the okay, house. Yep. With Baltimore City, is a little bit over two percent, and so that'd be six thousand a year. So wow, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. So it's centralized. So basically, yeah. you know, if you guys get a chance to come down, check it out. I mean, and it has <laughs> what did you say? It has one of the lowest. Um, um, it's low, one of the lowest employment rates. So I mean, it has well, well low unemployment rates. So it's one of the lowest unemployment rates because everybody works. It's you know, it's government subsidized. So uh, all the government's here. Yep. The best hospitals are here. You know, we have everything from Amazon down to Lockheed Martin. And Governor LePage, you better pay attention. <laughs> Back in Maine, yeah. dang! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Change of plans. I had a plan, a change of plans. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna run downstairs and close that real quick. I'll do it. Yeah, it's about 203 after tax because most of this is labor. Um, did the rear derailleur? Uh, it was just a regular adjustment, but the front derailleur had. Is it bent up a little bit? It was actually the cable right here. Yep. This was at like a 90 degree angle. Oh. And there's a guide on the bottom that this is supposed to run through right yep. there. But it had kind of come along the top and it was also, it was a little short. No. So it was just a matter of time before the- Snap. Yeah. Okay. So replace the cable. Okay. Now that one's a little longer. It was a, it's on the bottom side. So you can feel it there. There was there's a the little pin screw that yep. was missing. Oh, it was missing? And both the, the hub was loose. With the skewer in place it was fine, but it probably added to the reason why it your was, wheel kept coming loose. Yeah. 
Uh, I also replaced the skewer that was on there with this steel one. Okay. Um, it has a lot more leverage. Thank you. That's the old skewer. Yeah. Thank it's you. It's good on much. a normal bike. But not this one. Yeah. Correct, yeah. Okay. And yeah. this was in the That's perfect. holds my drive. flag and stuff. It yeah. was wrapped around the cassette, but it's still usable. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is this is a much tougher skewer. Yep. Um, I tightened up all I these bolts. Right. Yep, those rack. are loose, the rack and stuff. Yeah. That come right up this morning, the shock. Yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah, I pulled out of the room. All I did was lift up to come out. The whole shot came off. I said, because it came, it came, so it came unscrewed uh, from here, yeah. from the bottom. So I literally had to take that out and then screw it back in and then put the shock back on. I was like, holy smokes. Okay. I did add a spacer on the inside of here. Yeah, I didn't put, yeah, the spacer, I didn't yeah. get to put it in, yeah. Um, so that's good. This is all greased up up here. The top pivot. Yep. Um, the threads are loctited, all the other contact points are greased. Okay. Uh, the main pivot is a little loose as well. All right. Uh, but unfortunately that's a bushing. Yeah. And what I did, it was covered in, in lube that was like real thick and sandy. Yeah. Um, so I just thinned it out, put some super viscous. Okay. Uh, like military grade grease, that's what all the red stuff is. Ah, okay. And, uh, so that, that should help. I should help it out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Guys, what is up? We're in the minivan right now. This thing's sweet. I had to turn the bike sideways because it was, uh, well, it was rolling back and I didn't want the um, rack in the back to hit. Rack in the back. <laughs> Yo, Dr. Seuss. Ah! I didn't want it to hit the window in the rear. It's not going to be in trouble if I smash that out. It's going to be a cold ride too. But anyway, we're heading up to uh, RBR right now and I got about uh, 80 miles to go or so. And we're dropping the bike off. They're actually gonna um, do the bike tomorrow, but I'm getting there. I'm gonna sleep in the um, sleep in here tonight and uh, put my pad out and just uh, enjoy the minivan life once again. Because I don't know, a lot of you know I own a minivan, just really not this nice. Look at this thing. Super nice. So yeah, that's what we got going on right now. I want to update you guys. Heading up to Penn State area. RBR, we're coming bicycles right now. Look at how this shuts off. Uh, like that's super neat, super neat. Right, let's go in here now. There he is. How are you? Hi, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Bushes, okay. okay. okay, how are you? So I wanted to end the vlog at RBR as it was just bittersweet, perfect. And uh, Rob, again, over at RBR Recumbent Cycles, here at, over at the Penn State, near Penn State campus, uh, has all and everything that you're gonna need for bikes. So if you get a chance, you ride the recumbent bikes, any kind you ride, talk to Rob, he's a man to go through and get it done with. And again, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up from today. We're not cycling today or tomorrow. But we're gonna keep pushing, gonna keep moving forward. They're gonna have the bike done for us tomorrow. I'm super excited. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, and as always, stay happy, stay humble, and make somebody smile. I'll see you guys later from RBR. Bye!